Okay, so in this video we're going to look at the Mobius function. Now, the Mobius function takes one of three values. So, the mu of n, so the Mobius function is has this notation, mu of n. So Greek letter mu and n is the value. Here we're going to work with numbers 10 to 18, but you can work with any numbers that you like, any integers. So mu of n, what we're looking for here is the prime factors that make up the number n. So for example, if we take 10, the prime factors of 10 are 2 and 5. So those two prime factors will signify that mu of n would be 1. So basically what we say is mu of n is positive 1 if there is an even number of prime factors. Okay. And then if we take the next number, 11, so 11, prime factors of that is just 11. So that's a prime number. So therefore, that will take the value of minus 1. So therefore, that's when it's an odd number of prime factors. And if we assign the number of prime factors, so let, if we say prime factors, there are k prime factors, mu of n equals minus 1 to the power of k. So minus 1 squared will give us plus 1. Minus 1 to the power of 1 will give us negative 1. Now we've already worked out 10 and 11 here. So that's plus 1 and that's minus 1. So there's a third option. The third option is for 0. So that is when any of the prime factors, so p of n, there is more than 1. So obviously this has got to be larger than 1. So any prime number. So if you take 12, 12 is made up of 2 and 3. 5, 7 and 11 don't make up 12. So 2 and 3, what we can say is it's 2 to the power of 2 and times 3. That will give us 12. So as this 2 is twice, P of n, so in this case P of 1, there's more than 1. So therefore 12 takes the value 0. Okay, 13. So 13 it's just 13 itself. So that's minus 1 to the power of 1. So that's minus 1. 14. 14 is made up of 2 and 7. So 2 and 7. 7 twos are 14. That's an even number of prime factors. So therefore minus 1 squared. That's going to give us plus 1. Okay. 15. 15 is made up of 3 and 5. So that's an even number of prime factors. So therefore, it's going to be plus 1. Okay, 16. 16 in prime factors is just going to be made up of 2 to the power of 5. So 2 to the power of 4. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So obviously there's more than 1 of these prime factors. So therefore 16 is going to be plus 1, it's not going to be plus 1 or minus 1, it's going to be 0 because there's more than 1 of these prime factors. So that is now going to make it 0. So 2, so in this case p of 1, there is 4 of those. Okay, what well, doesn't equal 4? p of 1 leads us to 4. Okay, number 17. 17 is a prime number, so therefore there's only one of those, so minus one. So minus one, so one prime factor, that's it. And then the last one, 18. So now we see 18 is made up of 
2 and 3 squared. 2 times 9 is 18. Obviously this prime factor here, so in this case P1 just gives us 1, but P2, the second prime number, that gives us 2. So P of n is greater than 1, that's 2, so then that gives us 0. Okay, so that's our Mobius function, mu of n, for the numbers 10 to 18. Now you can go along all the way to as many numbers as you like, and in the, follow the link in the description below, I'll show you some interesting characteristics of the Mobius function. So when we're looking at prime um, numbers, prime factors, what we're really interested in is something that's square free. So square free, that would be this one and this one. So even number of prime factors and an odd number of prime factors. Square free would be a number that's not like 16 and 12 and 18. So these are not square free. This one here is not square free. And this one too is not square free. Basically what it means is there's the prime factors can be squared. So here you've got two to the four. So you can have two squared and two squared. For the number 12, we've got this one here, two squared, that is squared number. So put all those squares in there. And for 18, we've got three squared. So this one is obviously not square free as well. And that's why I end up with a number zero. Okay.